Cape Palmerston. Got the boat on the back. Morning, Ados. Morning. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Got the Hornet F500. Morning, Reese. Morning. Pretty excited, mate. Keen as, mate. Not too often we get to uh, get out fishing, so any opportunity is awesome. Pumped. Just there and down. Doing a bit of a beach launch, so can't wait. What do you have to say for yourself? How much to say for yourself? Just get the depth sounder on, get the boat ready, and uh, get ready for the beach launch. Look at those waves. Probably you guys probably can't see it, but I can. It's rough, but we want to go fishing. Yeah, we're going fishing at five o'clock in the morning. So you guys, we're about to put the boat in. They're just taking their time. Seriously, I'm bored of it. You got your boat? Hey, race. Are you think we're ready to go? <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Right, I see you on the other side. There goes the boat. It's going in. Oh, so, how do you think the fishing's going? So, two sharks in the boat. Well, uh, we're out off Cape Palmerston. A little bit misty. We had a bit of an adventure this morning trying to get the boat in, but we're uh, ready to go. How do you think the driver's feeling? Yeah, drive's feeling good, ambitious, hopeful. And I dare say we'll come through with the goods by uh, lunchtime. Here, Rob. This is what we got called a slaty brim, bro. Slaty brim. <laughs> Ow! You can't eat these bloody things. <laughs> yeah. This is all we've been doing all day, fishing. We got our friend Reese's boat. There's thing over here. Not many fish yet, but we'll find some. What is it? Oh, come on, beautiful. Come on. Look at that boy. That's a big one. That's a tail leaf. That's a tail leaf trevally, isn't it? No, it still does. expedition this morning got up from Sparrow Park at four o'clock this morning shot down here uh, we're at Cape Palmerston National Park uh, we just did a bit of a beach launch this morning and shot out to Temple Islands and the Islands and uh, didn't do too bad probably 15 to 20 minutes out there and uh, if, you, if you don't know where Cape Palmerston is it's off the Bruce Highway uh, it will be south of Serena going there we're actually stayed at the Cape Palmerston Caravan Park so uh, really good morning got a few fish so uh, we, we're gonna go back and fill them up so we caught a few fish right and those people those backpackers there what do we give them Reese? give them the small estuary cod we had yeah we just give them a cod backpackers they're just you know they really just pay it forward sort of thing, you know? Living Little, on a minimal sort of a lifestyle. Yeah, Fresh going food. around Australia and just, just showing them the Australian way. So, um, yeah, cheers.
so we're going to go down to Cape Palmston Beach and we're going to go for a full drive through the National Park, check out a few of the headlands, lookouts, a few of the campsites, and try not to get bogged. So cool. there we go. Three of us, three of us in the convoy. Reese, myself, and Trent. Shannon's brother's along for the trip, so he's got the D-Max, put it through its paces. Should be a good day. Let's go. Let's go. You ready, kids? No, I want to bring the fishing rod. Are you ready, hens? You ready, hens? Yeah. Yeah. I am definitely ready. Bogfish, all four adventures, Jason and Simon. What? A epic day. <laughs> this is one for the history books. I just ran into the All Four Adventure Boys and uh, down here at Cape Palmston. Pulled up just to say good day and mate, top blokes like got a photo and whatnot. Just want to say their equipment and their setup is impressive. It's a lot way bigger than what it looks like on the TV show and I can't wait to see the new series. Not a bad spot here, lovely. Yeah, pretty good. My mice is on the beach. All the disgusting toilet paper, they provide a toilet and look at it. Yuck. What you bring is what you take home. Definitely. Otherwise they will lock it down.
snapped him. Oh yeah. Good idea you got here mate. You got the carry the bit of gear with you so that trolley jack and the match max track to put under it on the sand. Eh? I think they're a bit of a common problem so I was half prepared not fully but I'll get there. Good stuff. What do you need yeah. a hand with other mate or what? Um, it's my first time yeah. doing it so maybe some advice wouldn't go astray. So have you got a spare CV do No. You just want to pull it out and get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're here and we say, oh, what do you reckon? Pull it off, whatever. Nah, here's Trent. He just rocks up with the grinder and the bloody <laughs> cutting wheel. He's just going to cut it off and keep trucking. <laughs> Nothing like three wheel drive. <laughs> Good stuff. We'll see how we go anyway. Be prepared on the tracks. When you're on the tracks with Trent, you bring the absolute whole kit and caboodle. He's got the shed in the back of his car. Just unorganised. He's got a decent set of tight and drawers in the back. Got the old rooftop tent. And the max tracks on the side. Good little setup. What's the go here, eh? Safety first, mate. Yeah, mate. The goggles on. Always carry your safeties. You only got one set of eyes, so do your best to protect them. Still not really adequate, but hey, it's all we got. I just want to make a note too that Trent's pulled up, nice flat area, out of the way, out of the traffic. So spot on. So we've been here like well, 15 minutes, you reckon, Rhys? Ten. Just rip, <laughs> just rip the grinder out, pull this out, and roll on. Fucking whop her out. <laughs> That's how she's done. That's amazing. Hey guys, we're just down here at Cape Palmston. Uh, we pulled up. We had to fix a CV on one of the track mates' vehicles. Uh, my young fella actually come over to this, what looks like a, a coal campfire. Um, picked up a piece of coal, it was quite hot. So, it's just another example. Look, look how hot that is. The kid stands on that, it's going to ruin everyone's weekend. That is scorching hot. That there's no need to leave a campsite with a fire left over that hot. Like that can wreck someone's weekend and the kids. Let's do the right thing, guys. Extinguish your fires. Make sure they're cold before you leave them. Yeah, not a good sign. That's why places like this end up getting shut down as well. I am. So Trent's busted his CV. Yeah. He's having a bit of trouble. We'll just <laughs> pop him up on these tracks. You like a photo? Yeah, boy. D-Max bogged again. Oh, she's blue. Yeah, not good, not good. Oh. Too much power and the D-Max just sunk us. <laughs> that was the first one to experience the mud. I broke it, I broke the traction, I broke the top. Getting the big guns out, eh? 
Pumping up the last of the tyres, quicker to um, quicker to do the uh, portable compressor than it is to line up. There's probably three or four people over there. Iron Man, one of the originals. So I think it's like a 150 litres a minute. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. I've only been here for about I don't know, eight or nine minutes, so. Oh, good. This is Notch Point. It's all, it's in the like 10, 15 minute radius from Cape Palmerston. So come camp down here, get your permit and whatnot, but there's there's no facilities or anything, you've got to bring whatever you need and then take home whatever you need. So, pretty good track in here. You know, small vehicles can get in here. So, and as you can see when you look out, just a beautiful bay. Nice calm bay and a creek that goes up into the... Nice grass campsites. Shady trees. But there is private property up the back, so you just stick to where you're allowed to go, and yeah, beautiful. Henry, yeah. what have you got? Pickle. Sprinkles on your ice cream? Yeah. Look at that delicious. Mm. Are you going to share with me? Yeah. Are you share with Dad? Daddy, I know how to Mm. Might. What do we got going on here? Dad washing the straps after being in the salt water? Yeah, just washing the straps. We've got a little hose hooked up on the van there. So I always hook that up and just um, wash the kids down, just try and keep the sand out of stuff. What's that that I see in the background over there, Rob? We had a bit of a moment yesterday. All for adventure. Must be filming their new series, and just so happens that they're in Cape Palmerston, the same as us. So, saying I'm pumped would be an understatement. Let's leave it at that before I get too carried away. Take hey, the opportunity to touch on our setup here at Cape Palmerston. So, really nice sites. We're on a powered site with our van. Um, everything's all easy to get to, amenities and whatnot. Uh, you got uh, water and power and all that stuff. Um, plenty of room to do what you need to do. So this is our setup. Um, Gerald the Gecko, the Gordon family. There's five of us in here. Uh, a bit of a rat race, but we'll we'll mosey on down. We'll have a look at Trent. That's uh, one of the track mates, Shannon's brother, and have a look at his setup. And then we'll go down to the the Morgan's camp flash glamping setup that they've got down there. 
Cheers. So, this is Shannon's brother Trent. There um, you go. Welcome to the track, mate, Trent. Thank you. But um, what do you got here, mate? We've, we've had a bit of footage today with the D-Max, so we're doing a bit of exploring. We got but um, this is the setup, mate, so just run us through what you got here. Right, I okay. well, from the start, we've got the King's Rooftop Tent. Slept in it last night. It's pretty good. Good for the price. Does the trick. I've got a four-man annex to go with it with my daughter. We just got a stretcher and a swag in there for herself. Um, we got on the roof, we got the awning outside, two by three metre awning. That's great. It rained last night, so it saved your ass. Um, and on the front, oh, actually, this side we got the Max Trax holder and the roof basket on top, put some stuff. And um, yeah, easy as, 15 minute setup. Nice and comfortable, can't complain. It does, it. Oh, Trent went through the tracks today and it doesn't really snag up on trees or anything, so it's pretty low profile. So yeah, um, whatever suits your purpose, I think, is, is the go. So. Well, um, we'll go on down to the Morgans, I think. They've just pulled up. They've been in town getting coffees or lattes or something, so we'll um, go down and suss out their camp. Hey guys, well that's the uh, end of another episode uh, for our weekend down at Cape Palmerston. Uh, we stayed at the Cape Palmerston Holiday Park. Really good spot, good camp kitchen, good amenities. People at the front are really nice. Um, close to the water, you can walk down there. Also drive down to the creek for a fish. Um, caught some fish this weekend, was awesome. It's uh, something new for us. Uh, and to top it off, we got to catch up with the all four adventure guys and got a photo with them, so that was pretty spot on too. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching.